we are going to look at a hood that's made up of two pattern pieces, main pattern pieces. There could be additional things like ribbing, channels um, that you might want to create for it as you adapt it, or facings. But the main pattern piece is this piece and then this panel that is sewn along this seam here um, and down to the back to create more fit. Um, so that's the centre back there. And that's the centre front, centre front, and the centre front runs up there. Um, so to get that measurement, we need a, um, to get that shape, to be able to cut that, we need a couple of measurements. Um, two of the measurements that we need are the head height down to the dip in the neck. That's just below where the Adam's apple is normally. You can kind of fill an indentation just above the collarbones. And then the, the height is you're looking for the highest point of the head. You might want to take it from the crown point. Um, or it's quite common for people to do this, get this measurement by putting a um, pattern master onto the top of somebody's head so that they can, lying it flat, so that they can see how high it is. Definitely not a measurement you would tr do on your own um, if you can avoid it. Um, and then the second measurement that we need is from ear to ear as well. So basically we are getting two measurements, the height and then the depth of the hood. Um, this person here has a very big hairdo um, and you just need to be aware of that when taking measurements. Um, if somebody's got a very big, big bouffant hair, you're probably going to get a higher measurement than somebody who is bold. Um, cutting hoods isn't the um, quickest result in terms of fit. You will find that when you make a hood up initially, you will either find it's very tight and it starts to look like a bonnet, and that means that these measurements are too small, or you might end up with a very, very big hood that sort of looks like a um, little red riding hood, sort of very um, either 17th century riding hood or a sort of um, Middle Ages monk's hood, uh, on a fryer type of thing. So just just be aware that this isn't um, all done in one quick step. Hoods, once you develop a really good hood pattern, hold on to it for dear life and you can use it on various different garments. So there are other measurements that we need. So the first other measurement we need, we need the neckline measurements. So we need the front neckline measurement and we need the back neck measurement. We already know that this one is four centimetres. Although again, we might choose to lower this on the style because this is just the original block line. So at the moment, um, it still could be pretty high. We haven't stylized or done anything to this. Um, but I would just put neck point to centre back four centimetres for this exercise. And then the other measurement would be from the neck point to the centre front. So neck point to centre front. Um, on this here where I've drawn it out, I've added on the button wrap um, because for this style, we're presuming that you have a entry point into the garment. So a centre front opening. Um, and so that is going to be an additional 1.5 on this one. You could do it, you could do this exercise up to the original centre front. It's just good to have a bit of extra length. Um, so we need to measure that measurement, which I believe is 8 on this scale for this exercise. And let's have a look. And. It is actually seven. So the total measurement for that is seven centimetres. Fire me. Um, now you can start to see there's some dashed lines there. And what those dashed lines are is the back placed over the top. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to actually draw it in now that I'm happy with that.
And what this gives us is another measurement, which is the neck drop. So from here to here. And that is going to be, I think, about three. Yes, that's equals three centimetres. So those are some key measurements. For these measurements, I am going to use 15 centimetres and about 12 centimetres. This is all obviously not in real scale. So we have those measurements as well. So the head height is 15 and ear to ear is about 12 centimetres. So we've got those measurements there. 